Well, smack my ass and shave my balls. It's the best damn podcast from Chippewa Falls. Well, are we doing this? Yeah, let's flip on the switch. Let's be on the air. All right. So we are Tales from the Hicks. I'm Chad. Hey, I'm Jason. This is Ben. And I am Nate. We are on Facebook. We have a website, talesfromthehicks.com. We have email. We appreciate emails. We'll get to some today. We, oh. got, we got a few. Nice. Oh, awesome. Perfect. Yep. Awesome. Um, and that is hicks at talesfromthehicks.com. Yeah. So now... Share it with people you know, and even yeah. especially the ones you don't. Especially the ones you don't. We appreciate the support. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a, oh, it's it's a, a good, good way time. to get together and yep. talk you know, stupid. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And always don't forget to smash that like button. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, don't forget, it is 63 degrees Ooh. with six degrees. Mile well, an hour winds? Yes. Well, six degrees? I was going to go. What the hell? Well, I was... well, we got six degrees of separation. We're playing a Kevin Bacon. <laughs> hey, let's game. try this again now. Yeah, let's try it again. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Let's go, Chad. Well, I was instantly jumping into my, you know, the last line of, if you need an update later, look out the window. Mm. Yeah, I just forgot the wind. Who, who needs the wind? Sometimes yeah. it's important. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it depends on how blowing. Maybe I want to fly a kite. Well, you can. You're going golfing later. That might be important to know. Yeah. Well, I, it's, yeah, I don't know if I'd call it golfing, but it's. Are uh, you using a golf club to hit a ball? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just. No fairways, no. Yeah, no driving range. range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Try out some new toys. Yeah, but big money, no whammies. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Which in my case is a lot of whammies. Yeah, I'm terrible. Oh, I'm bad there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm no good. Yeah, but it's fun like yeah. this. Yeah. I've yeah. actually had people dive for cover when I was on a golf course before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I rem- I think I remember this. As you were telling me about it. In yeah, that's where it was. Yeah. <laughs> I have a horrible slice, so if I want the ball to go that direction, I aim in that yeah. direction. <laughs> and point. then roughly 70% of the time, it ends up in that direction. <laughs> the other 30%, though, it goes dead straight where I'm aiming. Yes. And then, you know, that's why I don't ever start around the golf with less than 30 balls in my bag because <laughs> you lose a lot. But yeah, we were golfing in Chatech and I you know, was teeing up or whatever, and I teed up straight at an older couple <laughs> who were That looks like their... to your left. Yeah. You're aiming to your left. Yeah. I teed off straight in their direction. I want the ball to go, here's here's my fairway. Yeah. And I'm shooting straight at them. They're like on a fairway over. And there's an old couple with, a you know, the, the cart there or whatever, and the uh, gentleman looks over and he sees me, and you could, you could see him like, you know, at his wife, he's like, what the fuck is that guy doing? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> they're like, don't hit, we're right here. You know, they started hollering at me, and I'm like, it's okay, I got I got a bad slice, you know, and I'm trying to, but they're a ways away. I also didn't want to tell them, don't worry, I'll never hit it that far. <laughs> um, but I just, I was whatever, and I just full sent it, you know, and they, they literally dove behind their golf cart, and they watched the ball go like this, and then, you know, exactly what I wanted it to do, what it shouldn't do, Okay. Wicked slice comes back, and they both stood up and they were just like, <laughs> just could not believe that anything that horrible uh, actually happened. Yeah, that's uh, funny. It's, yeah, we we did that. We went down to Timber Terrace. I can't remember when it was. If it was Mother's Day or yeah, yeah, we used to do that Mother's Day. Mother's Day down to Timber Terrace. Well, I took Tanner down there. We had a golf cart or whatever, and and I suck at golfing. I'm horrible, and. Um, so we did that, and I can't remember what hole it was that ran runs along the road back there. It was up on top anyway. So we all hitting the balls, and I'm hitting it, and it only goes about maybe 10 feet. Mm-hmm. So I just run up there quick, and I hit it again. There goes maybe 10 feet, and I run up it. Well, now I'm about 30, 50 feet away from the golf cart. There's Tanner, and I, he was pretty young when he did oh, that. Yeah, yeah, he, mm-hmm. might have been. he was pretty young. And the uh, next thing I know, all I see – is his head in a hand above the <laughs> above the cart there, and his other hand is down on the gas pedal, and he's tripped. He goes, whoa! He goes flying by, you know, and 
Well, he can't see. He doesn't know what the hell yep. he's doing. And I'm like, oh, shit. So I run, chase him around, and he's laughing. And I'm like, oh, boy. Because if he hits a tree. With All him, right. Oh, no shit. Boy, no boy, Oh, yeah. my God. And chasing him around, I'd get close to him. He'd see me run, and he thinks it's a fun game. <laughs> Pushes the gas pedal again, and away he goes. Yeah. Oh, my God. We chased him around for quite a while. Oh, uh, that's awesome. Mm. That, that must be a thing of being young. You know, Landon uh, did the same thing. Like, it'd be like, hey, you want to go golf? Yeah, yeah. Well, he golf two, maybe three holes. Mm. And then it was just about driving a car. Right. That was it. Oh, yeah. Care about. Well, he didn't realize that if he kind of sat on the edge of the seat and put his he foot down, could reach it, yeah. he could reach it. But he thought, okay, well, if I push it with my hand, and I can kind of steer it. Well, so he's completely stretched. You know, I was trying to look over. I can't believe he didn't have, you know, I've watched dad drive all this time. Gas, right foot, brake, left foot, you know. (laughs) (laughs) Hey. Beer in the center council. Beer in the center council. Yeah. You got to have a beer. Hang on, dad. I'm coming. Let me throw in a dip. Grab this beer. I'll be right on that. (laughs) Right. (laughs) And we kind of left everyone with a cliffhanger last week with the house parties. Mm, Yes. Yeah. I think we should venture into venture into some of that. You didn't ever have any house parties at all, did you? You know, honestly, I I don't recall. I mean, I remember having people over play cards and things and dice and obviously some drinking. Um, but an actual house party, I now, I'm not talking like in the last year. Or two, I'm talking no. like you know, 16, 17. Mm-hmm. Parents might have been gone. I I honestly I I mean the odds are yeah it happened, but. Well, I, we, we I know what you're saying. We know what I've seen it. We know what I, I watched it. Oh, that's for sure. Yeah, I was on the outside looking in. Really? Oh, yeah. You were on the guest list? I, apparently not. You should have said something. I didn't get an invite either. No. So I don't feel bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we couldn't get past the bouncer either. No? Ah. Diamond had it on lockdown. Maybe. I don't think it was Diamond, I though. I think it was, it was Chad. I don't think hmm. it was Chad. Oh, I just meant maybe Diamond was the bouncer. She was the oh, door. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll park them over in the fairgrounds, yeah. You know, parking all way. And the thing was, I didn't see any cars, so I don't know where the hell they all came from. Hmm. That's the thing, too. There wasn't very many cars. Out there. Oh, that was when you still lived up by the fairgrounds, the fairgrounds. not yeah. Well, yeah, Street, oh, yeah. okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, I remember right. that bad, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, because yeah, we were down at Tice's for whatever reason, we right. come down the street and. Maybe they all parked at the Y and walked up to not raise a suspicion. Oh, maybe. I don't know. No, we were, uh, you know, the few times, well, we, yeah, we'll keep going on that house party thing, I, you know, but I just, you know, was there, well, were there, like. I wonder, was it, I want to think it was Halloween or somewhere around that time. It was in the fall time. Yeah. Hmm. I don't right. know. I'm not sure. But anyway, but, we knew the party thing was happening, so. We wanted to come down to this to check it out and make sure yeah. you guys were not not having too much fun. Not having too much fun. Staying safe. Yeah. yeah. Were we having fun? You were. Or, having I guess fun. did it appear we were? Appeared to be having lots of fun. And, mm-hmm. Well, it didn't look like a Bible study. I'll tell you no. that. <laughs> <laughs> Some sinning going on. There was sinning. There was sinning going on on the bad girl because <laughs> I was in the window looking down at it. <laughs> uh, that's for real uh, so for sure. a, i don't know if that whose ever bedroom it was it doesn't make a fucking shit if it was in the back of the house it was my room yeah. and that's the front right of the i would have washed the sheets after really? that party yeah. was sure. it chad who was sending or was it a random i couldn't i don't i don't how do you should have took your flip phone out and took a picture oh, i don't even know about. i don't think we could take pictures with pagers back then <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get me up on my Motorola. Nine one one nine one one. Does he have a beeper? You guys got a bank of payphones around here? I <laughs> might get paged. Right. Yeah. Mm. So I was in the back of the house because we were kind of looking at uh, all the windows going around, but it's a by level, so it was really hard to look in the windows and stuff. But that one back window, and if you got down, you could kind of look into the family room down there too mm-hmm. kind of through the through the window you could look yeah. into that basement family room down there oh yep yeah, yeah because the window was over by the door mm-hmm. yeah right so when i was there looking in i don't were you in there too well, i wasn't i was outside with yeah outside yeah. with me yeah yep. right yep. looking yeah yeah, so we were, on the yeah, we were on the outside. Sounds like you guys spent a while. <laughs> yeah, on that situation. You sure the party wasn't outside? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jason are yeah. standing outside. <laughs> <of another. laughs> 
<laughs> hey, if it feels good, do it. That's yeah. right. That's and if not, you're doing it. Well, next thing apparently. I know, here comes two younger kids than I was, but they come into that bedroom and they started making out pretty, on. pretty heavily. And I'm like, oh boy, <laughs> we're going to see a show right here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't exactly. need the Mr. Movie's bathroom. <laughs> no, Mr. Right. So we were watching that all unfold right on the, the bed there. Really? Then, yeah. Huh. And then the next thing, some one of them got up and shut the light off and shut the door and our show was over show because was it, you couldn't, there was no more scene in there. I would have had to fuck with them 100%. Oh, but <laughs> on the window yeah, or yeah. something. Please! <laughs> that would have that been awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, was there lights and people upstairs? Oh, yeah, there's people all over town. Wow, that's, yeah, must have been a good time. Yeah. And you don't so, remember any of it? Honestly, I, I don't, I don't recall. I mean, I, you know, I've had people over, like I said, dice and cards. I don't know things, how many people, I mean, there wasn't I, a whole, I wouldn't say like a hundred, but hmm. there was probably um, ten, ten, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, that'd have been about the right size, you know. You don't, you don't ever want oh, you don't because that's why big. you get it too right. big, and that's when the cops right. call and they yeah, were just a normal that. Wednesday night. I mean, that's like, yeah, right. right. You got school the next day. Sure. Right. So, yeah. no, and I don't. Well, it was. I, I want to think it was either a Friday or Saturday night. Well, it would have had to be. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. No, I. Skinner really and Chubbs went out for a Friday night fish fry and mm -hmm. matinee. Yeah, Chad had mm -hmm. a, a shindig. Apparently, a party. Yeah. Don't I'm sure it was a good time. No, yeah, well, it looked like it. Well, well, you never that, know. It's for the one guy down there. It looked like a yeah, good time. Yeah, he was a <laughs> night of his life. Yeah, yeah night of it, living night. his best life there. <laughs> so, I don't know that we, I never really had any parties at the house. Uh, the only one that I know of, I think mom and dad went into the basement or like, well, you kids have fun. But mm. other than that, I don't I think I really had parties at the mm. house. Mm. Mm. We always went to somebody else's. Yeah, yeah, that was. I uh, I remember a house party and somebody attending and getting really, really hammered, and um, my roommate at the time, when he got done with work, he'd always you know hop in the shower when he got home and he'd just throw his dirty clothes in the corner of the bathroom, and this person who came and got really hammered, um, needed to use the facilities. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yep. light light bulb, some, light bulb. Interesting. <laughs> went, went into the went into the bathroom and uh, toilet here, pile of dirty clothes by the bathtub here, uh -huh. and just you know stumbled in toilet. Nah, dirty clothes. Yeah, yeah. And then just proceeded to piss all over the pile really? of dirty clothes <laughs> <laughs> in the bathroom. Yeah. yeah, I mean I don't remember who it was, but uh, I remember that happened. And that I think it was a Halloween party, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. We could blame that guy. Yeah. Huh. He was on the clothes. Mm -hmm. He was very nervous <laughs> the next morning. <laughs> Your clothes? They weren't my clothes. They were my roommate's clothes. Oh. And he was not a happy camper. <laughs> hey, <laughs> your shit up. Who in the fuck pissed all over my clothes? <laughs> <laughs> and there was a young blonde gal there who was trying to keep control of this. Oh yeah. This guy who was, you know. Slightly inebriated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is really weird. There's one voice that's got really quiet. Since yeah, she yeah, yeah. The story. I don't know who. That was. I don't know who. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, there was a guy too <laughs> that we uh, had him over for. Uh, I think it was my bachelor party, and anyway, he stayed at our house, and he walked into our bedroom, mm -hmm. kissing, ready to piss all over. Really? Yep. Wow. And Lisa got up and said, "Ah, uh, no." <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't me, huh? Damn, I have a problem with this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was you. Huh. Back to back stories. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I need a bucket. <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's or a right. catheter, I guess. Or something, jeez. At Bucket Will House Party. Yeah, I think you, you did that too. You came home drunk or uh, whatever one night and you were going to go. Maybe you were pissing mom, dad's shoe or yeah, something like that. That, that might have happened. Because your mom woke up and you were at the end of the bed pissing yeah. her shoe or something. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's I used, awesome. I used to pee wherever, I guess. Yeah, he did. Hey, when you gotta bedroom, go, you gotta go. His bedroom yeah. was directly across the hall from my parents. He had to come down the hall to go to the bathroom. He went straight across and into. Uh. 
mom and dad's room. Yeah. Pissing in the shoe. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I was, I was drunk. What do you want me to say? I was drunk. At, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that same Halloween party where he you pissed was. in the corner. Do you remember Do you remember the, the costume that Dave had on? Uh, Dave, our listener, sent the email in last week. He had the, that was a Halloween party where he came in the full body Tigger costume. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Full, full body, like head to toe, like get zipped into a Tigger really? costume. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Like the beer, like the beer bunny costume. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys can, uh, you guys wear them together and get together. Well, maybe. You know? Yeah, we could do that. I'm sure, there's groups out there. Yeah, furries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> furries. furries. Yeah, there you go. Is it furbies? Furries. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Furries. Mm-hmm. yeah. We're gonna do uh after the um story last week. There was uh we have a new follower. I'm going to give a free shout out to the Chipper Distillery. They're following us. Yeah, that was awesome. Perfect. (laughs) Thanks, guys. Uh, And actually went through their Facebook page and found the post. See, I told you. It it really happened. Yep. And they made the post. I was there. I found it. I I made them a lot of money that day. (laughs) We were just talking about this. Feel free to send us some samples. We'll we'll review them on the air. Right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Yep. They've probably been trying to track down that bunny for the, all these years. Yeah, but now they know. They, know. Yeah, they found me. Yeah. Son of a bitch, Jason Lytle. <laughs> Look out, fame. Right. <laughs> yeah. That was a good time. I wish you guys would have been there because. Well, it sounds I don't like you of it. Well, there's you know, pictures, I guess. Easter and that's the one thing I really don't like. You know, sometimes, you know, when the, the beer is flowing or whatever and you're having a great time next thing you know you got all these phones out mm-hmm. snapping pictures and taking video look at this and then it gets posted that just wrecks it for me i get pissed off i, I stop doing it and i fucking sit down and i'm done i it, i am it, very it, it glad wrecks, it wrecks everything well i mean it is awesome that you can instantly capture memories like memories, that part's yeah. really cool but man, I'm glad we did not grow up in an era where oh. everybody had access to a cell phone or you right. know a camera Cameras and a video right. recorder yeah. in their pocket mm-hmm. at all times for all of my idiocy to be captured online right. forever. Right. Because right. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my mm-hmm. life. Yeah. You know. Yeah, hundred percent. We yeah, like, that party I had would have been on film. Yeah. 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 Oh, you would have heard. <laughs> that's all you would have heard maybe they were just that was a workout room maybe yeah uh, they were yeah. working something <laughs> they were lifting weights <laughs> you guys remember the Adam Sandler skit are these yeah. people working out yeah. or having yeah. sex <laughs> I remember oh man when I was a soup at the CC I was talking to some of my guys one day about uh, an Adam Sandler CD or whatever mm. and they just looked at me and they're like Huh? Uh, didn't know what it was? No. A CD? No, they didn't know. Oh. CD. And I was like, he had, I'm like Adam Sandler. They're like, yeah, the movie star. I'm like, the comedian. Right. And they had, they, they didn't, I think they knew what a CD was, but they had never heard of a, like a comedy album. Mm-hmm. Had, and they had no clue that Sandler, I'm like, multiple mm-hmm. like, classics. At you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Stan and, what was it? Stan and, uh, something's kid or whatever yeah. was the name of one of them. <clears throat> yeah, but no, they had they were younger guys, obviously, with no idea that yeah. that was a thing. And I was like, "Well, I'm gonna go fucking crawl into my old folks' home now." <laughs> yeah, I guess. Hey, go. Yeah, <laughs> hey, go. 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 Well, we were gonna bug hug me. A couple of years, probably twelve years ago or so, maybe longer. I don't know, but I was at work and I asked the guy, "Hey, have you ever heard of Bo Jackson?" Oh uh, yeah, isn't he like a Baseball player? Well, yeah. Okay, good. Good guess because what? Nothing. Oh, and uh, but the the famous picture of Bo Jackson with the baseball bat, shoulder pads on, mm-hmm. and he has his hands yep. up over. You yep. know, he's he had no idea who the fuck Bo Jackson was. One of the greatest athletes yeah. ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then was it last? No, must have been Friday night. Maybe Lacey asked Tanner. You know, he OJ o. Simpson died. Who the hell's OJ Simpson? He goes, the guy that invented orange juice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he had no idea. And it's, yeah. 
reality check, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, do you yeah. know O.J. Simpson? I do. Okay. I do. I actually remember seeing that um, Chase. Uh, Chase. I, I doubt it was live, but like. Oh, yeah, yeah the white Ford Brown. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yep. Down on, you know, the first time I probably seen a freeway that had five, six lanes. Mm -hmm. I was like, the hell is yeah. that? You know, that See, was. You know, if that was me, I would have been shot up better than shit. I mean, they would have been had the helicopters on me, never yeah. mind all that. They would have never let me. <laughs> they would have never let me just continue to keep. Cruise. I'm just, I'm, for, I'm just going home. I'm going home. Yeah. Yeah, my ass. Yeah. They would, I would have been shot up. <laughs> you guys want to get to our new favorite part of the show? Let's do it. Must be time for email. Emails from. I'm oh, excited, dude. Yes. I'm stoked. I love this part. Yes. <laughs> hey, if you guys have an email, yes. send it in to hicks at Yes. Yeah, any anything. Literally, I mean, anything. if you uh, have feedback for things you like, things you don't like, or if you got just general life questions, whatever. Right. Yeah. Take it all. Yeah. Good or bad, like yeah. you said. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Anything. Well, and as you'll see here, we will discuss just about anything. Cool. Oh, good. So we're going to start off. Uh, this, this one is, scares me sometimes. No, okay, wait, no, time out. Do we want to keep this? Do we want to know who sends this or not send it? Do we, the well, names, do we want names or no names? This one doesn't necessarily have one. Oh, well, so, there you go then. Uh, okay. The point is, so moved. let's well, do uh, I can no give name. You, I can give you an email address, but. <laughs> that's not going to help. No, we're not going to do that. Signed, no. We're not doing that. Um, and then if, if anybody does send in an email and they want to stay anonymous, they note that in the email or if they Sign want up. their name off. Just let us know and we'll yeah. respect that either way. Yeah, 100%. Uh, so this one is for Ben. Oh, boy. Ben, I was listening to the latest podcast you and the other Hicks did. I couldn't happen to notice you kind of went off on a gospel tangent mm -hmm. saying, Amen, can I get a hallelujah and praise the Lord. I was just wondering if you are some kind of reverend. Can you explain more about it? Look forward to hearing from you. Love the show. Keep up the good work. Amen, brother. Signed Jesus. <laughs> You're going straight to hell. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So that's a good one. And so. that's a, I am an actual ordained minister, reverend, whatever you want to say. Yep. Yeah. Through the online ministries of what have you but yeah i am an actual actually ordained and legit and i've married lots and lots of people and yeah 100 percent, 100 percent legit it all started because of those two gentlemen uh down there doing a mock wedding for oh, yeah, that's right. for a wedding anniversary if i'm not mistaken 20 or 25th 25th I think. yeah i think it was 25th yeah and um Somehow I ended up getting nominated, I think, to be the minister for the wedding. So I, uh, this is back before cancel culture and all of that fun stuff. But <laughs> I, I uh, was a you know dressed up like a black Baptist preacher and mm -hmm. got up and we got a lot of amens and hallelujahs from the <laughs> congregation. And, uh, ever since that day, I you know the whole kind of circle of friends or whatever. I would always get called Reverend Ben and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And that persona carried on to many episodes out drinking and uh, maybe on a ball field. Yeah, maybe on a ball field or on bonfires <laughs> or uh, what have you. And um, one day I was sitting at home and I was like, huh, I wonder if I could actually be a real minister. So I went online and I Googled how to become an ordained minister. and approximately 27 seconds later i was an ordained <laughs> minister, and it's a uh, real real easy to do and then uh i mentioned it to some people i worked with and the one guy was like you're are you really i was like yeah i'm like i can marry people and and then, yeah the whole shooting match and then this one day a, a random coworker was like hey you said you were ordained right and i was like yeah he's like i want you to do my wedding and it was all <laughs> kind of downhill from there i've done a whole bunch that's so, cool yeah well, there you go. Yeah. Cool. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. Beans. I mean, I knew you were, but I didn't know the, I guess, the whole background story. <laughs> yeah, that's how it, it, I was just literally, you know, all all the guys, you know, calling me Reverend Ben yep. or whatever, and mm -hmm. I was just like, I wonder. And I mean, literally, I googled it, and it, it there's multiple pages, and this was 
shoot 15 years ago maybe longer you yeah, know I'd say longer than that. and um but i mean when i actually got oh, ordained or whatever yeah. you know um and there's multiple websites and i just went and there's a whole lot of stuff you're supposed to read or whatever right i just i just scrolled to the end of all that crap <laughs> except yeah do you, do you agree. agree to blah 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 i was like yes sure and, and wisconsin is a non-contest state so even if you didn't because i actually had to do some research like when i People ask me to start marrying them. Like, is this, you know, legal? Uh, Wisconsin is a non-compete state or non, it's something like that. I want to say non-contest state, I believe. So even if you're not ordained and legal, Wisconsin will never con will never contest the, the fact of whether you're legit or not. Mm -hmm. They just take it at face value. Mm -hmm. But I did marry a couple people in Minnesota. And in Minnesota, you have to go extra measures so like i had to go back online and get an actual like certificate that had been notarized and that it was legal i had to go to the courthouse in the county where the people were getting married and like have it officially like i'm a on the register of a licensed ministers in the state of minnesota and blah 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 and yeah but yeah the the crazy part is i could be tax exempt if i wanted to be okay yep all I would, from what I've read, all I'd have to do is put a sign in my yard that I held services on Saturday at 4 p.m. Doesn't matter if people show up to my house or not, but if I have a sign and if I have a place where people could gather if they wanted to, I can be tax exempt. I got a guy that make a sign for you. No, I don't. Uh, I know you got a guy for everything. You don't want to? I talked about it with the wife. And I was like, I'm sure I'm already going to hell for becoming ordained in 17 seconds <laughs> online. Like we don't need to, we don't need to take that any further. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I think well, we should. We could do that here because we meet some. We yeah. Meet on well, Sundays and that's true. Yeah. Hey, yeah. This is the Church of the Hicks. There you go. There. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Just spinning off. So, do you think people could drop some money into the Tales from the Hips? Yes, we will. Our... <laughs> we will pass the, uh, pass the collection plate. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'll bless each and every one of you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. I'd like to sign up for profession. Ooh. Oh, oh, I'll ooh. listen to anything. Off there. To off there. Oh, sure. <laughs> 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 of course. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we could have confession hour. Well, mm. this might be a time for you to confess. Oh. Chad. Oh, 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 for Chad. Wow. Okay. I noticed that the last couple of episodes you have been doing the weather report. Mm. Just wondering if you had to go for some kind of meteorologist school or if it's self-taught. The way you are saying the temperature and how the wind is blowing, you had to have gone to a meteorologist school. Maybe on the next episode you can go more in depth with the weather. I'm thinking myself of being a meteorologist you are my hero <laughs> keep up the oh god damn <laughs> p.s just look outside to see what the weather looks like speechless you're blushing this is life changing. Damn, this is, is awesome. Um, time to raise the bar. Yeah, you know it's uh, just cut right to it. It's uh, self taught. Self taught. Um, man. Self -made straight man. Straight from the app. Don't tell anybody. Uh, oh, the weather what, app. What app are you using? What? Um, it's the weather app. Oh, okay. Okay. so weather app, weather channel. No, just weather app. That's what it's called. Weather yep. app. Yep. Okay. There's lots of choices out there. Android or Apple? Um, Android. Okay. Yeah, we like things correct. 100%. Um, but yeah, no, it's just a weather app. And uh, I look through that daily. Um, I don't study it. I look at it. But, uh, and, you know, somebody said it one on one other show that you know, to be realistic, look out your window. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's not going to tell you the temperature, but I'm fine with it. it's hot or it's cold. You yeah. know, everybody's got a different feel. Um, you know, some people, still cold probably today right um maybe showed up are, wearing a hoodie yeah yeah and others are is already warm enough you know for the season wearing yeah. shorts yeah yeah shorts t-shirt yeah. you know so what off. is the current temperature out then right now right now yeah well at the start of show it was 63 degrees 63 huh? but uh we might probably look outside and get a better estimate 
Like the sun's, sun. Yeah, the sun's definitely a little bit higher. I'm gonna go with probably closer to 66, 67 degrees out there. It looks wow. So, um, very few clouds too. So, well, be a great day to do something outside. Yeah, self talk. That's self -talk, awesome. Yeah, That's impressive. Yeah. Thanks for the email. Yes. Yeah. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Now, oh. hey y'all. I'm a long time listener and longer time emailer. Oh. And I'm wondering. What is the most redneck thing each of you hicks have done? Oh, oof. Hmm. I mean, I don't know how redneckery this would be, but I once spray painted my entire car. Oh, well, that's redneck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he did. <laughs> that was a blue monster. Well, that was blue, the blue midnight blue or something yes. like that. Sparkles in it. It is. Yes. It was a lot of spray paint. A lot of spray paint. Yeah. Well, so what had happened was, I don't know if you remember, remember the back. Ice, the ice under the snow. Slid on the snow-covered roadway. That's you right. in an accident? You got into an accident. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you were there. And I had to replace the front end. And the front end was a different color than the rest of the vehicle, and that was quite embarrassing. So I'm like, this doesn't look right. Well, I was 16. I didn't have thousands of dollars to have it done so we went over to that their walmart super center and got ourselves some um it was actually it it was auto spray paint but it was like touch up so you weren't supposed to spray the whole car with it but, <laughs> but you weren't just the front no we did the whole thing all to make it match yeah my bad, yeah my bad, sure. so we uh yeah many many cans of spray paint <laughs> and we did the whole entire vehicle and then it looked better Huh. Yeah, it did. It looked looked decent. It I thought. Yeah, I'll see if I can find a picture and I'll post it up. But so, tell me about your redneckery. I would say, you know, again, I think we we touched base on it. But at Christmas time, I literally had a Christmas tree with lights, working lights, working in the back of my truck around Christmas time, standing up straight. Yes. Yeah. Drive around with Christmas tree in the back of the truck. I mean, that's, I mean, there's other little things here and there, but that, yeah, made my parents proud. <laughs> so is, it, is that why Diamond is the diamond and you yeah. are kind of the forgotten son? I think so. I think so. My mom won't hear this, so it's fine. Well, yeah. <laughs> hey, Chubbs. Hey, Chubbs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys got some redneckery? I don't know if you want to call it redneckery. I think it's just kids being kids is what I would call it. But we were in uh, at Marshmallow. So we always go to Marshmallow Lake Memorial Weekend and fish because that's what Grandpa wanted to do. And that's what we did for years and years and years. And uh, so there was, I don't know who all was in there. I think it was, I know it was me. And I think it was Elmer and maybe Jeff or Scott or somebody. But we all rented uh, the, you could rent the boats at the bar there. And the rowboat? The rowboat, yep. Yeah. And you could go out and go around and fish or whatever. So we did that. We had two boats and we went out on the bay and went around the point and we went. And so it was just on the other side of that point there mm -hmm. and, uh, on the back side. And uh, we were fishing or whatever. Well, let's see if we can't sink this boat. <laughs> okay. We took the plug out. All right. Yeah, it's fucking sinking. <laughs> and then it only goes down so far, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. And was it an aluminum boat? It was aluminum, yeah. yeah. And we were sitting there, we were standing on the seats and we were rocking this boat back and forth and trying to, you can't sink it. Really? You know, nope. It only goes down so far to the seats. I mean, it was right, maybe a, maybe an inch above the water is all, and we could not sink that boat to for nothing. Hmm. We we tried and tried and tried, but there was nothing we could do, and uh, that was it. It's crazy. I'm guessing that's the wind. Oh yeah, I hear it now. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I was trying to hear before when you asked me about. It. So yeah. So hmm. one more thing on that. Yeah, uh, the wind did pick up. <laughs> my my dad had this old boat, and we went out 
we went out on to a little lake with soda. So we put in by the gay shoulder there and we went up and there was still ice on the, the waters. I mean, there was maybe an inch or so. So it was, you know, maybe this time, maybe a little before. Got the boat out and we got cruising around making sure everything's good. So Memorial weekend, we can just go fishing. And uh, we went up by the ice up there. They said, well, look, we should try to break it. Well, the first one we went up and put the nose on there and it breaks right through. Oh, that was fun, you know, and we broke a whole bunch of ice and shit. Well, there's a bigger chunk out in the middle there by the Mermaid Island. Yeah. Oh, should we try? Yeah, sure. Fucking up. We go, boom, there we are, stuck up on top of the ice, and there was no way he reversed, nothing worked. So all you could do is to get an oar and try to push her off. Push you off, and yeah. Is that how you got off then? Yeah. There was no way. There was no way you're breaking through it. I mean, we had the boat up on top of the ice. <laughs> there was no way it was getting down. I mean, the, the motor was in the water, but all we were doing is dragging that fucking big chunk of ice around because, there, I mean, it was huge, but. Yeah. And there's no way you're breaking <clears throat> through it or nothing. Hmm. Yeah. Ben, did you ever sink a watercraft? I was just going to say, uh, <laughs> I can speak from personal experience. Mm. Uh, you can sink a paddle boat. Oh, you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, we were, that kind of ties into the house party story. Yep. We were uh, at a house party and a uh, guy who lived kind of out by old Abe's and uh, they had a, I don't know if their house was the only one on it, but it was a, I guess I would call it a big pond or a real small lake, yeah. like in their backyard. They had a paddle boat on the dock and we were all really tuned up, obviously, and decided it'd be a good idea to take the paddle boat out. So it was me and Nate. The guy whose house we were at, Brian, I feel like there was one more. I thought it was just the three of us. Was it just the yeah. three of us? Well, anyways, I didn't know it. Nate didn't know it. I'm assuming Brian did because it was I'm incredible. Not, I'm but hoping he didn't. He was <laughs> just too drunk to care. Anyways, paddle boats have uh, plugs in them, and I didn't know yeah. that. Well, anyways, we took the paddle boat out. There was no plug in it. Strange plug, yeah. Yeah, and we started paddling around the lake or whatever, having fun, and all of a sudden I started noticing that my side of the paddle boat mm -hmm. was sitting much, much lower on the water than the other guys. Sure. And it wasn't like that when we started. Mm -hmm. And uh, so those guys are on one side and you're on the other or what? Mm -hmm. I think we were like three in a row kind of. Yeah. I can't remember if there was two in front and one in the back or if there was yeah. three of us in a row, yeah. but yeah, it started listing heavily to my side <laughs> more so than it was when we all piled into it. And I'm like, What's going on? And next thing you know, our feet are up in the water. <laughs> then it's up to your knees almost. And the boat is sinking. Like, it's sinking. And Nate, you know, yeah. he oh, gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Michael <laughs> Phelps over there. <laughs> yeah, he gone. Let's, let's, be, let's be clear. This was late at night. This was dark. Sharks were out. There may have been. It was Jason. It was drunk Jason out there. I, yep. My thought was, and I, I don't know that I just like went under with it I feel like I got like sprung out of it because I remember like I was like diving out and that was the only time he touched the water because if people saw Jesus walk on water <laughs> I don't see me walk on water I can yeah. tell you that yeah and it was don't care about the boat didn't really care about nothing just get my ass to shore yeah then... he gone yeah. <laughs> so yeah I'm trying I was trying to get Brian back into shore and not lose the paddle boat because I was like Mom and dad probably won't like that very much mm -hmm. as parents, you know. So I got the paddle boat. I think I had my arm like slung around one of the, you know, the paddles or whatever that you pedal on or whatever, one of the bars slung around that. And I'm trying to drag Brian with me and it's just deep enough to where you can't really touch. So mm -hmm. like I kind of go down and push off and then drag everybody a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Drag them all back up to shore. And, and the boat? Yes. Yeah. They, the boat and the guy. Yeah. And then, um, by the time we got back to shore, Nate was already dry. Like he was, yeah, I had already had like clothes changed. Yeah, like, hey, what he, you guys doing? He was on another beer, you know, fresh smoke, <laughs> fresh bar blank going yeah. down. Like, yeah, it was all good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a good time though. It was a lot of fun. That was, um, I think I was on an amaretto kick that weekend. That sounds about right. Yeah, amaretto and sprite or something. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I I mean, I've probably done a lot of stuff that people who aren't from small towns would consider redneck, I guess. I don't know. 
I've gone sketching behind a car before. If anybody's ever done that, you know, where you can't say, hey, I don't even know what that is. Take a, you got a rope behind a vehicle and you just grab a hold and it's slippery outside and you go on and you just go sketching behind the car. I've done that before. Yeah. Oh, no. Nope. Down the road. Yeah. It may be interesting if it was we did snow. That, we did it up north uh, at the cabin. We took a rope on it with a sled behind it. Yeah. And yeah. with a four wheeler. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure I've gotten pulled behind the yeah. snow, you know, snowmobiles and right. wheelers right. on a sled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nate absolutely destroyed my thigh one time behind the snowmobile. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, this was, it was wintertime, obviously, and it was, I think we were on the road and it was snow covered and slippery, or maybe we were out in a cow pasture. But yeah, I, I just, I was hanging onto a rope with a stick tied through it, and I was huh, nice sketching behind the car. Yeah, good times. Yeah, good yeah. kids. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you do? Fucking losers. Uh, you step in. <laughs> I didn't say that. You step in cow <laughs> shit. So uh, yeah. purposely, purposely. Yeah, <laughs> just enough to wiggle my toes. <laughs> I can see it. That's enough. Kind of going like this. <laughs> That's enough for me. Oh man, I I went over to a buddy's house in high school. Lived on a farm. And, you know, when you're a kid, right, your parents take you and drop you off. And so my mom and dad brought me and dropped me off. And they were, his mom come out of the barn. And uh, we were talking to her barefoot. She doing, was? She was barefoot. And her foot, it was one of the grossest things I'd ever <laughs> seen. And I was just like, I don't remember her name, but I was just like, what happened to your foot? And she's like, oh, a cow stepped on it. Oh. And it was, it wasn't like it didn't just happen. Oh, right? okay. like, But it was. Mango. Yeah, it was rough. And she mm. was barefoot and there was cow, cow shit all over her feet, obviously, from working in the barn, mm. milking. And I was just like, all I could think of was that cow shit going into that open wound and just like, uh. your immune system must just be the greatest thing mm -hmm. since sliced bread. <laughs> It was incredibly. Well, my father-in-law is like that. He always has cow shit or grease or dirt on his finger, under his fingernails, eating a sandwich. He doesn't give a shit. Yeah, well, I mean, I you know, if and you're a mechanic or a farmer, right. right? Like you just get used to your hands are always dirty. Yeah, you know, he like didn't that. do. He just takes yeah. his hands, wipes them on his pants. Yep, yeah. fuck, good get the big chunks goes, off. Yeah, that's what he know. says exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Probably hmm. doesn't get sick much. No, nope, not much. Not at all. All right. We got more? We got one more. Oh, oh right. right. Good. Um, well, there's not really a question, but I'd like to start off saying I only personally know Ben, but after listening to this podcast, I feel like I know all of you. Oh, oh hey. so thank you. Oh, thank you. I like it. Hell yeah, thank you. I am a truck driver, and finding something interesting to listen to is difficult. I look forward to listening to your show every week now. I wish this was a daily show so I could listen to you guys talk every day. Oh, you can listen to us more that. often. Ooh. 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 Put it on repeat. <laughs> just keep, on, keep on trucking. <laughs> keep on trucking, yeah, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Ten four, rubber dog. Well, yeah, once we get these sponsors and all that stuff, and we yeah. put our days yeah, and yeah. start doing this yeah. every day. Uh, keep on doing what you guys are doing and don't stop. Maybe over time, you guys can teach people how to look when merging onto the fucking <laughs> interstate. <laughs> 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 And impossible. That's a horrible. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I Dude, I, that just happened to me on uh, Friday. I was coming, I was merging onto the, I was on the ramp coming onto the highway. It was a, I was down by Hutchinson Technology. So I was coming from Menards. Yep. And I turned and I was going onto the 312 there. It was a uh, country hearth bread truck or whatever. He was in the right lane and I was coming down. If I would have never slowed down, I would have fucking, I should, I should have smashed him is what I should have done. Mm -hmm. He he looked at me because we were right side by side. He looked at me. He just kept on going 50 miles an hour. The only way I could get onto the highway, I had to slow down. I would think he would have had to move over. No. No, it would have been your fault. It's, it's your fault, 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can stay in the right lane and those. Yes. Yes. Yep. But if you, okay. Merger does not have the right of way. People right. on the highway have the right of way. You have to slow down for traffic. Or I gotta be up. doing 65. Or speed up. Um, yes. One of the two. But yeah. Yeah. If you're in the right lane, you do not have to get over. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, most truck companies like Dart or whatever, they tell their truck drivers to not change lanes. It's a hazard. Yeah. But yeah. Uh -huh. Did you notice uh to jump forward a few seconds when you did get back on the highway, I'm assuming? Yeah. Was there a car on the opposite side of it? No, there no, was no okay. there was fucking he was the only one there. 
because I I've done that myself, yeah, and I'll get oh, yeah, pissed. Right. I'll get behind him. I'll be like, you know, like even if it was a truck, you can't or fucking get, get over, over right. right? And then I'll be like, oh, man, fucking, yeah, they couldn't. We'll no, there was nobody. There was nobody huh. there at all. Yeah. Well, let's hope this guy was not a truck driver for country hours. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I, I feel no, your <laughs> love the bread. Keep, 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 keep making it. <laughs> sorry, dude. Maybe it was you. I don't know. Uh, that's funny. But no, I agree with you. That is, it is frustrating. But yeah. and the reason why I was down there is because Friday night somebody hit our fucking mailbox. I saw that. Ooh, yes. it, it looked like a perfect mirror. Yeah. You could see the track and everything, the tire track, and hammered the mailbox the kids mirror. are still out smashing mailboxes yeah. <laughs> I, was, I don't think yeah. i think they were just either on their phone is what i'm thinking really uh, mm-hmm. that's what would be my guess i thought the picture looked like it got hit with a bat because uh, it was crunched into the middle, middle right? yep it was because be I, a question. I i i took it i took the mailbox itself and i put it against my truck mirror and it fits perfect uh-huh. match is your mirror broke? Yeah, is there something it's wrong? Not <laughs> how's that? Mean? How's that Jeep mirror? Yeah, yeah just check know, Jeep. That wasn't him either. <laughs> Tanner wasn't out throwing some socks. But you know, they were <laughs> throwing they socks were... in the mailbox, <laughs> <laughs> just swinging the end of it. It's like a boomerang now. <laughs> At least he goes, I washed these ten times. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> Sounds like I threw a bucket of boulders into the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> like, you used to wash your tennis shoes. You hear that? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Somebody washing their shoes. No, it's tennis socks. Yeah. <laughs> Just another like... load of statue socks coming in hot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you, they rode the shoulder for from the corner of our house from the the road there, all the way down to roll the whole length of our yard mm-hmm. or down to the telephone pole there, which. Was the whole whatever the anchor is wide? Huh. They were. I just thought it was kids out smashing uh, mailboxes when I saw the picture. Because mm-hmm. I, I, that's what I thought too at first. But uh, with a bat, they would have been out farther, and it would have been back farther. It was, this was right at the the door that opens up, and it was it was right there. And the door was like halfway to the telephone pole down there. I mean, it stuck mm-hmm. to the vehicle for a while, wow. and it flew off. But you could see because when I went down there and I looked back. You could see the tire tracks perfect. They were in the on the, off the shoulder of the road there. Did they get the uh, post too, or just the mailbox? Just the mailbox. Hmm. So our our mailbox looks like a cow stan what's a stanchion stanchion. That's what it looks like. So if you would hit that when you hit our mailbox, the whole thing swings. It, it moves. Oh, so. Well, so if the plow when, hits it, it swings out of the way. Right, right. so if the plow yeah. hits it, away, oh, yeah, it okay. moves out of the way, or else when they, those fucking guys come by. <laughs> you know, I seen down 40th Avenue, they, they, it was about every other mailbox they hit, there's fucking laying on the ground. I don't know what mm-hmm. the hell. Hire the me, podcast. I'll I'll, I'll do it. I mean, I don't know how to do it, but I think it's better than what those guys can do. I don't know what they do, but I'll, I'll get her to go. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, that's what it's all about, but they're... This guy here hit it, and I was hoping to see glass or something, but yeah, I think going that fast, I don't think it's going to move instantly. But no, it didn't. It broke her. Hmm. But anyway, that's how that. So did you put a cement one back up? I would love to hmm. get that. You'd probably get in trouble for that. Mm-hmm. For some Nowadays, reason, you probably would. Yeah, yeah. that well, happens. It's not breakable. Okay. Yeah, it's not supposed to be. Yeah, right. stay on the fucking road. No. <laughs> Put your I, uh, cell phone down and get on the road. This is what you're doing, not texting. Christ, do it when you get home. I did a couple runs in high school with buddies going out smashing mailboxes, but I, I don't know. I never really. It was kind of fun, I guess. But there was a few guys that, like, every weekend, that was their thing was smashing mailboxes. <laughs> and there was one guy. I don't I don't remember where he lived or who he was, but I just remember hearing them talk about what an asshole he was and they smashed his mailbox like every time they were out. <laughs> and finally a dude got smart and he put up mailbox 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 right so the three of them in a row and the two outside mailboxes were filled full of concrete <laughs> he filled them full of concrete mounted them on posts and then the middle mailbox was the normal mailbox for the right. mail person to use right. and man let me tell you then the Monday when they rolled in after they discovered that concrete <laughs> mailbox, oh, that kid who did the swing, it was a hurt in the unit. Mm. Oh, good. Yeah. 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 I yeah. could never do it because I was left-handed. 
So in order to hit mailboxes, you have to go out this way. But I can, I never got to play in the Ranger games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never did any of that with a bat. I mean, we we have done it with, uh, you know, like an empty bottle or something. You know, you try to hit a stop sign or like you throw it. Yeah, throw it oh, as you're okay. moving. But never a mailbox. Do you ever? Have, I think, have you ever? I think this was, it was, I don't know if it was you or your cousin Andy. Mm. Shit in a purse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I shit in a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> we shit in a purse. Yeah. You put like a dollar or two dollars mm-hmm. just kind of in there and then you yeah. put it on the side of the road and you just yeah. kind of watch from the house down the road. And yeah. Just kind of on the side of uh, Highway S. Highway S. Yeah. Or, some personal shit in that purse. Uh-huh. Yes. More than more than one way, personal shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember whose purse or who put the dollars in, but I picked one up at the Goodwill or something, just some old yeah. old purse, and then you just wait for them to come by and yeah. put their hand in. And oof. my mom I did used to do that. do that all the time when she was a kid. Shit in the purse. Mm-hmm. Nice. They actually, well, she has five sisters, four, a bunch of sisters. Um. And her mom collected purses, so she had like a closet full of old purses. <laughs> and they lived next to a, a farm, so they would go fill the purse up with cow shit, and then they'd stick a dollar bill out of it. And they lived on S, going into Jim Falls or whatever there, you know. And um, right on S, right across from the river, yeah, just down, just down the road from. Um, is it Scott that lives on by the Sturgeon? He yeah. used to. Yeah. He used to. Yep. Sturgeon Fest grounds there. Yeah. yeah, they just live down the road. Oh, okay. Just a little ways from there. Oh. And um, yeah, and my my grandparents had a screened in porch that was a standalone thing, kind of out in the middle of the yard. And then you went down and you opened it up and they had a storm cellar underneath of that. So my mom and her sisters would go fill up the purse, hang a dollar bill out of it, go put it alongside the road, and then go lay down mm-hmm. on the ground in the screen house and just wait, you know. <laughs> and they thought that that was great times. But mom said one day a seventh son rolled Ooh. up. It's a motorcycle gang for any of our listeners that don't know what that is. And they're known for not being the friendliest folks in the world, I believe. Mm-hmm. And she said a seventh son rolled up on his motorcycle and uh, reached on in, <laughs> got a handful of uh, warm Holstein goodness. <sighs> and uh, I guess he just like exploded. Uh, you know? <laughs> Fucking! I find you, motherfuckers! I will yeah. kill you! I swear! To, I mean, like, honestly, that was the last time we ever did that. <laughs> like, we thought we were dead. Mm-hmm. We thought we were all done for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember why we did it, but yeah, it happened. That sounds like great fun. I would do yeah. that. It happened at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember how it even came about to have that idea. So uh, that just kind of reminds me. I, I, we're going on a tangent here, but yeah. So when you you we've all went. Fishing before, right? Summer fishing, bobbers, worms. Sure. Winter fillies. Winter fillies. What's the weirdest thing you've seen fishing or saw fishing? Uh, Uh, Okay, I will start. Ben, Ben, you can go. Oh, you go ahead. Ah, Go for it. No, it's yours. All right, so (laughs) we went there. I went summer fishing with Grandpa. I don't remember where we were, what lake. Because if you've ever been fishing with my Grandpa, it was fuck who knows where you're ever going to end up fishing. And um, and we always had to be there at at crack crack of dawn, dawn, right? 100%. Just as the sun's coming up, because that's the best fishing. So wherever we had to go, that's when we had to be there. So we could be leaving at 3 in the morning to get there wherever. Yeah. And, but anyway, so I, I I don't know how old I was. I just remember this. I don't know if Nathan was in the boat or if Alma was in the boat or what. I, there was three of us. And uh, I was getting bored. And the fish weren't biting. It was getting warm. and I was taking my pool and I was, it was a, what it was, it was a fish floating upside down. All you could see was the white of the fish floating. So I was taking my pool reaching out as far as I could, trying to bring it back to see what kind of fish it was, you know, making noise. My grandpa's like, stop, stop splashing, you're scaring the fish or whatever. I'm like, oh, there's one floating over here upside down. So I'm take, literally taking my pool and flashing and splashing in the water, trying to, he said, he looked over, that's not a fish. I'm like, yeah, it is. He goes, no, that's a rubber. It is a used <laughs> rubber. <laughs> I'm not joking. From the night before, somebody obviously had some fun, discarded it into the lake and here, 
It is floating by. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. <clears throat> Probably came out of Chad's bedroom. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Snuck up there and threw it out. I thought you were going to go with the buck slate. That's the other one I was going to say yeah. when we went ice fishing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's when, yeah, when you it said um, summer fishing, I'm like, oh, no, I think this was ice fishing. It was time, ice fishing. So that, that story doesn't apply, but yeah, that was, what was it? Uh, was that the same time that we saw Bigfoot though too or something, wasn't it? That wasn't Bigfoot, that was Swamp Thing. The swamp Thing, yeah. <laughs> That's a true story. I still <laughs> have fucking nightmares about that goddamn thing. Swamp Thing. Dude, swamp. I, okay, if you look up Bucks, wait, Bucks Lake, there's well, about there's a couple of them. thousand yeah. of them, so yeah. it doesn't matter which. And go find Bucks Lake. I, and I wish if anybody's listening, email and tell me where Bucks Lake is because I want to go oh. back to that lake and and find it and go fishing there for memories but mm -hmm. i don't i have no idea where it was. was north of chippewa north of chippewa I, 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 that leaves a lot of area yeah, know, but i because i've tried googling it before yeah. google maps and there's a ton of bucks lakes i know there is it'd be hard i know but we that's so it was ice fishing i don't i must be, i don't know how old 15 maybe maybe Sounds not good. quite 14 yeah. somewhere right. in there anyway he had he had that that red ford truck well, anyway, he just doesn't know. He's, he's no, I'm thinking of the green. No, he green. Had, no, that was, was that before or after the green truck? That was before the green truck. Before. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, no. we went fishing for this Bucks Lake and we drove wherever it was and we went down a dirt road. And then to get to this lake, you had to turn again and it was like branches scraping on the side of the truck down this fucking road. And I don't even think we were supposed to be there, but. <laughs> Was it in? Were you in the county forest? Because there's a I, lot of lakes up there that are like that. I, I don't know, Ben. I I wish I knew, oh, but okay. I. Well, I feel I, like we were like up maybe more towards like Hayward area, uh, like Rice Lake, like north. Sure, north. sure, okay. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, when we we pulled in, you had to go down this bank. Then in the the where we fished, it was maybe I don't even know if it was a hundred yards wide. 100, 100 yards. I don't think no. it was mm -hmm. three hundred feet wide. You know, whatever. Little. That that little bay we were in at the beginning there, and then but then to the whatever other direction it was, it was longer. You know, it was so. Anyway, we get down there, we drill the holes or whatever. Grandpa's fishing on the one side. We were we started catching fish, and then I'm like, well, I'm going to go across the this lake and drill a hole, and I started fishing over there by myself because that's what you do. I caught a bass or whatever. He Nathan goes, Grandpa, I got to pee. He's like, Grandpa goes, mm -hmm. go, go up in the woods right there. I mean, he we'll was find literally... a pile of clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you're maybe 20 feet from the shore or whatever. And go up, uh, go piss in the, the woods there. No, nope, he didn't. He literally turned around back to back my grandpa and pissing right there. <laughs> Grandpa's like, what the hell are you doing? I got to go in the woods. But I've always been real brave. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah. And, uh, so as I was sitting there fishing, I looked to my left and I don't, I wish I could tell you what it was. The only thing I can explain it is swamp thing. It looked like a, something came, rose up out of the water. Out of the frozen water? No, not right there. It was like a swamp. I yeah, like a swamp thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So it wasn't quite frozen in that area but it okay. came up behind the, the brush and i'm like what the fuck? and it just came up and it like it was tall like taller than the brush eight feet i don't know it was huge I'm like, and then it just went back down I'm like holy fuck next thing i know i'm sitting over by grandpa too because <laughs> whatever was going on there i didn't want nothing to was it sasquatch it could have been i don't know i don't think that was was that the same night that we spent the night in the back of the truck no, that was summer fit where we heard the Indians. Yeah, yeah, that was up in I don't know where the hell that was. Twenty twenty four, I believe they call them Native Americans now. <laughs> yeah. And well, now they're indigenous. They're so indigenous, yeah. 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 I want to think we were up at the Lake of the Torches when that was going that on. Was, we were ooh. in some reservation somewhere, mm -hmm. and we were in, you. Oh yeah, you must have had to be there. We we had all the shit in the back. So he had a, a board in the back of his truck, two by fours, and a mattress in there. And that's where we stayed in, and just the boat, or whatever, hooked up. And we just pull into a yard, like a, I don't know, some kind of park, park of some kind, yeah. 
and uh, we crawled in bed. And I kid you not, all you could hear was dun, 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 <laughs> going on, and <laughs> Grandpa's like, "Well, I guess this is the end of the road." <laughs> <laughs> Young bear, yeah. And Elijah. Like, what, what's going to happen? Uh, he goes, I don't. Hopefully, they don't get us. He said, but that I, I kid you not. And I'm glad you brought that up because yeah. I think about that every once in a while. Where that, dum, 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 dum. Mm. yeah, you could hear the drums going. Yeah. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I, I've uh, I've seen a lot of weird stuff fishing. I guess I fish a lot, but. uh not that this is necessarily weird, but one of the craziest things that ever happened fishing, we were musky fishing. Uh, we were on the, trying to get moonrise or whatever. So we were out super late or moonset maybe. I don't know, it was like midnight, one o'clock. We're flying across Lake Holcomb, the Holcomb flowage area. And um, my buddy is kind of set, kind of in the back of the boat-ish, whatever. And um, he, he stood up for something as I, I don't know what it was. Anyways, we're going across the lake and um, he turns to towards the front of the boat. And just as he turns, a catfish had jumped out of the water oh. and it caught him right in the face <laughs> and it took him right out of the boat. Oh, I mean, it was man. a big, it was a big cat and it hit him right in the side of the face and out of the ass end of the boat. He went, mm -hmm. we had to stop and go mm -hmm. back and get him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But oh. that was That's crazy. nuts. Yeah. I've heard of those flying carp or whatever, yeah. but never I've catfish. seen I haven't seen cats do it that much, obviously that one time, but sturgeon will do that a lot. Um mm -hmm. if you if you fish it with soda a decent amount. I, I've always seen it that stretch over by the state park there, kind of over mm -hmm. in that area. Mm -hmm. But I mean they're almost they're almost like a whale, like they'll fully come up out of the water and then like crash back down oh, in on their mm -hmm. side. Didn't mm -hmm. know that. Yeah. Over by Moon Bay there? Isn't that Moon Bay? Kind yeah, of? so before you, like if you're coming from the, the big island, right, before you take a right into that channel to go to Moon Bay, yep. I've always seen it kind of on the left, um, that area over there. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I still haven't got my truck. I haven't been over the... No, you didn't go pick that up? Oh. Uh, step side? Step side. Uh, I don't get it. Before I do forget, um, it... It reminds me of a story I heard when you said you were just going through the woods, yeah. like fishing, yeah. and you heard like scraping on the side uh, of the road. Yeah. Did that ever happen to you in a station wagon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, that, that wasn't, uh, well, it wasn't scraping. So but, nobody's uh, fingernails or scraping it, on the windows? Or, uh, no, no, it was uh, your dad and Elmer. Oh. At the, your, uh, um, I believe it was the, um, was it a housewarming party? I believe your parents were having at uh, the house you had the party up at. Up on Edward, yeah. Yeah. Huh. And uh, I f they ran out of beer or some fucking thing like that. So they had to go. And that's when State Street Tavern was still. Oh, where yeah. the Quick Trip is. There's just be a tavern right there. And, uh, and they still? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Where, where, there? where the Quick Trip is, there yeah. used, to, there used to be a bar. Oh. State Street. Tavern. It used to be a female, I believe it was. Yeah, it was when well, Zutter's. Zutter's, Zutter's female. Yeah. My dad worked there. Yeah. Long, yeah. mm -hmm. um, probably yeah, before you, when you were still swimming, not to not. Yeah, that's when that was happening. <laughs> that's do you remember Jaber's being up there? I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Jaber's, yeah. yeah little candy shop and stuff. No. Oh. That's mm -hmm. right on the next street over. Yeah. 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 So, thank you. Hmm. That's the advantage of being older. Well, I got, I got <laughs> fucking young kids. To say, that's about the only thing. Oh, <laughs> you went yeah. to get beer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, we, uh, no, I didn't. Your dad and uh, Elmer went to go get beer and grab a station wagon. It just happened to be that station wagon, mm. for whatever reason, didn't like to start right away. So you'd have mm. to sit and crank and crank and crank and shut it off and crank and whatever. So they didn't want me to go with them, but I wanted to go hang out with those guys because they're older and it cool. Yeah. Skeeter goes, here, take these potatoes back in the house because... That was me to get out of the car, take them back in the house, and those guys take off. Pricks. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I fucking ran it back into the house. Here's the potatoes. Fucking threw them on the floor. Ran back while they were still trying to crank up the station lighting to get going. Finally, it got going. I had to be in the back seat. Well, those assholes. Well, right where they lived, there was a cemetery right there. Yep. Right? 
I, well, okay, they whip a shitty and they, instead of going back down the state street and taking a right, they took a right right away and went to the fucking cemetery going back to state street. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm in the backseat. Skeeter's, we'll shit, we're running out of gas in the cemetery. Right? <laughs> and it, on the front, you can do the locks on the door. So he's in a <laughs> ducking door handles are going up and the locks are going up and down. He's rolling the window down way in the back. They're going to crawl through the window and shit, you know. And I kid you not, I'm in the back seat around Skeeter, have my left arm around his throat, pulling as hard as I can because, and he's so he's in the back seat choking because I, I, or I'm in the back seat, have my arm around him. Holy fucking scared I was. And they're laughing and laughing. And they pull all we get, went to the, the bar and got some more beer. Of course, on the way back, they thought that was funny the first time. So we had to do it again <laughs> the second time on the way back. Same fucking thing. Well, he shut the car off. Oh, well, we're now we are out of gas. And I just kept on reefing around his neck. He had. <laughs> red marks around his throat. <laughs> he, he still said, I thought I was going to die that day. I was gonna, I'm like, fucking good for you. We would have been that far to bury you. How old were you? Oh, boy. I was young. 13, maybe okay. 12, somewhere in there. I was pretty young. Well, I would have, if it was housewarming party, I would. Have, I think I was two when they bought that house. Okay. Well, I don't know how old I was then. Two, four, six, eight. And Ten maybe, maybe yeah. yeah. But yeah, anytime that any of you three tell that story, it's funny every fucking time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when when you said that scratching on the windows was like, oh yeah. Yeah, they well he was working the locks on the yeah, door. Yeah. Fucking rolling the window down on the back window back there. Jesus Christ. We did uh we got your sister one time. Diamond. Uh, yes, yes. We were driving around Right around Halloween time, mm -hmm. we were driving around just messing with people. I think so. We, we were went out. This was at their new place, and she was home alone. I'm sure. Yeah, she I was. Know she was. <clears throat> and she was down in the basement. Where we had masks and stuff, so we went down and it, one of the egress windows. So oh, we yeah. go down and you know, like tapping on the glass and scraping on the glass or whatever, and just to try to get a rise out of her. Next thing we know, the fucking the garage doors opening up, the car is already running. <laughs> I don't think the, the garage door didn't even wasn't even all the way up, and she was already coming out, <laughs> out in the car. And she was she was taking off. She was leaving. Going she places. Wasn't, yep. Yeah, because she even made the comment something about, or was it the gun? There's something about, you know, what after the fact, you know, like. You do that now. There's people that they won't question it. Oh, they yeah. just shoot. Who yeah. we'll deal with it later? You know, so like, having to do things like that. I mean, you can, but you got to make sure that you're not going to get shot. <laughs> They'll shoot through the cabin door. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We learned that. Yeah, right through the steel door. They'll come. <laughs> yeah, got to get the cougar. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Yeah, or dress like Michael Myers. Well, yeah, yeah. that'll get you shot now. Yeah, yeah. two years ago, when now you just get you bolted. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. So I think we had mentioned at the beginning we got the Tales from Hicks website. There's the shirts and stuff out there. We got the we finally got the farts are funny. We, oh, t-shirt. I think in the very first episode, I think we had talked about how we yeah. want to make a t-shirt. Put that on a t-shirt. Farts yeah. are funny. We finally got it on a t-shirt. Nice. Farts are funny. We got a testicle cheesecake face t-shirt, <laughs> statue sock mom, <laughs> uh, t-shirt for triangle squares. I got, uh, I ordered my, I got my code brownish yellow t-shirt in the mail last week. Yep. Nice. Code brownish yellow. Yep. Uh, even if it's, even if it's not, that's what it is. Uh, home is where the bucket is. Smack my ass and shake my balls. There's a bunch of different shirts out here. Feels good. Do it. We got mugs. Uh, we got the standard, uh, the Tales from the Hicks logo on t shirts, and then of course on the website, you can find all your we had sweatshirts and stuff. There's, There's sweatshirts, sweatshirts. Mugs. Yeah. yep, mugs, sweatshirts. Um, and then you can also find uh, oh, there's a hoodie out there. Um, right on the main homepage, you can find the the five latest episodes. So soon to be six, soon to be well, I think it only keeps the five most recent. Oh, I got you, I see but, you. yep, gotcha, but, yeah. Um, yeah, so we got that, and then 
Of course, if there's any emails again, hicks at talesfromthehicks.com. Oh, we got a we got a shout out. We got on our website. You can see um, where where people are listening from. So we were talking about we got a shout out. Um, there's like people all over the world, believe it or not. Yeah, we have twenty people have listened to twenty five episodes in South Korea, mm-hmm. fifteen in Bulgaria, and five in Bangladesh, two in Germany, and one in South Africa. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. On a worldwide, worldwide, worldwide prestige. Wars. Worldwide, <laughs> yes. it's a goddamn Catalina wine mixer. <laughs> so yeah, don't worry, we're getting we'll our passports. Yeah. Hey, and passports can I just ready. say, if, if one of those guys from one of those countries, could they just send the email? Yeah, that'd, that'd be awesome. That'd yeah. be cool. Yeah. Just yeah. say, what do you guys think? Yeah, what do you think about it? How did you how, how did, did you, you stumble us? upon this? Yeah, hodgepodge of shit that we put together. <laughs> yeah. We would love to hear yeah. from you. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Did you say South America or no? South, South Africa. Africa. South Africa. I yeah. do think maybe we could uh, somehow put a pitch into South America, though. There's oh, not out there uh, for South America yet. Oh, well, we know a guy. No, we do know yeah. a guy. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, guys know more than us. Does he yeah, know we about know this? I don't know. I'll have, I'll have to send him a message. See if Mario, he knows. Mario, right? Mario, Mario. Yeah. 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 He could hook us up. Yeah. And there. then, uh, yeah, I guess more U.S. stateside, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah, those are uh, those are pretty big. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate it too. That's for sure. Yeah, Thank it's you. you know we're just four idiots <laughs> doing what we're doing, but yeah, we appreciate people listening, and we would value any feedback, good, yeah. bad, or otherwise. Right. right. Yeah. If you yeah. think it sucks? Tell us why you think it sucks. Right, because yeah. then we can always improve or adjust. Yeah, or, you're you probably know. not wrong. We'd just love to hear. It. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> probably it not. won't be the first time I've been told I suck, and I'm sure yeah. it won't be the last. So. Yeah. Give us a, a four topic. star rating yeah. and share it with people you know, especially the ones you don't. Yeah, for a five star rating. Four star. Jason always wants to leave room yeah. for proving. But I like that. Yeah. Hey, you good. got here. Everybody yeah. can always improve. Yeah. Always. 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 <laughs> Yeah, good stuff. All right. And well, don't forget to smash that like smash button. Smash the like button. Yeah. <laughs> Not mailboxes. Smash the like button. Smash yeah. the mailbox. Smash the mailbox. They get to be expensive after a while. <laughs> yeah. So Should whoever it. hits my mailbox, please don't do that. Man. It's probably a fan. They, they, they you know, paparazzi. Unfair. Sure. They can put paparazzi. They can put the fifty bucks in the mailbox and then fine. I don't care. And I can go get another one. They'll but... put it in one of those purses. <laughs> <laughs> you should just use like an empty eighteen pack of beer and just lay it there. Well, the, the funny thing is, when I was doing that, when I was putting the mailbox up, the lady, the mail lady, came by and she's like, "Your mailbox was the best mailbox we got around here." I'm like. Apparently somebody didn't care for it anymore. <laughs> She's like, "What?" I go, "Somebody smashed the shit out of it." Uh, yeah. I didn't know that was a competition. I guess I'm right. gonna have to get a new mail. Set your game up, son. Yeah. Please. Uh, <laughs> don't go on to my street and hit mine. Please, I just <laughs> fixed it. It's all like Donkey Kong. Yep. All right, well, you guys have a good week. Thanks for joining. Talk to you next week. Talk to you later. Yep. Adios. 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 Adios.